Meghan Markle is a woman who appears to have it all, except for the friendship of her former Suits co-stars. In a bold but misguided effort to reconnect with her past, Markle reached out to her old colleagues as they launched their new podcast, Sidebar, in 2018. Whispers began to circulate about Markle's ego growing excessively inflated as she prepared for her fairy tale wedding to Prince Harry. Reports indicate that her attitude shifted from being a team player to acting like the star of the show, leading producers to consider writing her off the series. Can you imagine being so difficult that even the Suits crew wanted you gone? Fast forward nearly a decade, and Megan seems to be trying to recreate the camaraderie she left behind, but instead of a genuine reunion, she opted for the classic approach of sending out a press release. Her former co-stars, however, have shown little interest in reviving past relationships. This was made evident at a recent Golden Globes red carpet event when Markle's ex-colleagues, caught off guard by questions about her, revealed they didn't even have her phone number. That's akin to being left unread by her high school friends in a group chat. This exchange highlighted the significant divide between Markle and her former Suits castmates, resulting in a public humiliation that showcased feelings of betrayal and resentment towards her perceived arrogance. Those cherished memories of the past have faded under the harsh light of Markle's rising fame. But there's more. As her former colleagues Patrick J. Adams and Sarah Rafferty launched their new podcast, Sidebar, Markle's past and present collided dramatically. While they reminisced about their experiences on the show with laughter and nostalgia, Markle's attempts to join the conversation appeared more like a desperate plea for relevance. Her own podcast deal, once heralded as a major success, fizzled out after just 13 episodes. You'd think with millions behind her, she could have produced a few more episodes than that. While her former co-stars thrive in their new venture, Markle's outreach, seems more like a sad effort to join a reunion she's no longer a part of. It's not just about the podcast. The stark contrast between the success of her ex-colleagues and Markle's faltering career is striking. As the Suits gang embarks on new adventures, Markle's floundering attempts to get involved seem more comical than sincere. Patrick J. Adams, the leading man of the sitcom, recently admitted that he and Markle aren't exactly exchanging Christmas cards. When fans asked about their post-asterisk-suits-asterisk relationship, he bluntly stated they're not really in touch. But fear not. After hearing about Adams and Rafferty's podcast, Markle couldn't resist sending a sweet text wishing them luck. How charming. If only it didn't feel like a last-ditch effort to regain their favor. And here's the kicker. When asked about Markle potentially guesting on the podcast, Sarah Rafferty stated that everyone's invited but conveniently omitted Megan's name. It's like throwing a party and forgetting to send an invitation to the one person who might create a scene worthy of a reality show. This blatant snub raises the question, if they do invite her, will she show up with a laundry list of demands, or will she ghost them entirely to avoid another public embarrassment? Overall, Markle's attempts to reconnect with her former Suits co-stars are nothing short of laughable. It serves as a reminder that while she may have traded her acting career for royal life, the ties that once bound her to her past seem more frayed than ever. As the Suits gang continues to thrive, Markle's efforts to join the festivities appear to be nothing more than a clumsy and desperate dance at a party she no longer belongs to.